and by uh, for the latest on the results and indeed uh, what transpired throughout the day. Sam. Uh, well, thank you so much, Lillian, the, uh, the communication center. Of course, what everyone is expecting eagerly is uh, now the results, the transmission of results. But as you can see behind me, uh, the returning office is quite busy. And uh, what has been happening is, I remember that people voted for four uh, elective seats, that is the Member of Parliament, Senator, Women's Rep, and MCA. But what has been happening is uh, they've started counting, or rather, Tiling of uh, the votes and then before they go into counting, that is just the verification of votes, whether it's valid or invalid, and then they are, they are counter-checked. After counter-checking, that's when they're going to start now counting. And they've started with the member or rather the county senator. Uh, county senator, of course, uh, attracting at least three individuals, key among them. Uh, one of uh, the person who stands out is uh, uh, the... Secretary General of uh, the Nurses Union, Seth Panyako, and uh, from the tallying and verification of votes, whether they are valid or not, uh, Seth Panyako appears to be uh, having uh, an upper hand, but while well, that will be confirmed once the votes are now counted, and now we know who will be leading and who, is not be, who will not, uh, or rather who will be uh, dragging behind. And of course, after now, uh, the counting of the Senator votes, we're going into uh, the Member of Parliament and then uh, Women's Rep and uh, into uh, the MCA. Of course, it is a race that has attracted a lot of uh, uh, aspirants, but then again, it is a race that has also seen a lot of dropping out of candidates and cancellation of, uh, uh, of the exercise in some areas, key among them being Ma uh, Matungu uh, constituency, where the National Elections Board uh, uh, cancelled or postponed the, the exercise, saying that... Uh, um, names of aspirants were actually missing from ballot papers and then uh, they could not proceed with the exercise as scheduled. Uh, of course, uh, members here just uh, are waiting uh, that critical verdict on who will be their flag bearer to carry along the ODM flag in Kakamega County for MCA, uh, for Member of Parliament, for Senator and uh, for, uh, for Member of Parliament uh, as well and the women's rep. Uh, remember that we did not vote, or rather Kakamega did not vote for uh, governor because the governor was given a direct ticket, as well as three individuals from uh, uh, Malava, from uh, Ikolomani and Lugari. And the Lugari one was actually uh, a former chief of staff in the county government of Kakamega, uh, of course working for uh, Governor Wycliffe Oparanya. Now the contest here in Kakamega has been uh, split into three, or in three constituencies, and those are Butere constituency where Andrew Toboso is the current sitting member of parliament. He's facing uh, quite a, a fierce challenge from his uh, his nemesis, that is Nanjendo Bushuru. Uh, we are waiting to hear what will be coming from uh, uh, Butere's side, who will be having an upper hand, as well as will be having an eye in Huisero constituency, where the current MP is uh, Benjamin Andola, but Benja Benjamin Andola will have to uh, contest and fight it out with the current women's representative from Kakamega County, that is Rachel Ameso, Rachel Ameso earlier on expressing her frustration and confidence confidence at the same time of the party but also just saying the way uh, they had waited for so long uh, to start voting of course uh, just expressing our frustration on the delays of uh, arrival of ballot materials then again uh, just close to this constituency Lurambi constituency is Shinyalu constituency and in Shinyalu constituency uh, the sitting member of parliament Silvers Silvers and Nami will have to uh, square it out with uh, Justice Kizito. Justice Kizito, interestingly, had defected uh, to Jubilee, but then again he came back uh, to ODM. I don't know what the commotion is about uh, behind me, just people trying to agitate uh, for counting of votes to be hurried up because anxiety at this time usually sets in. People are very eager to know uh, if their ballot will be uh, valid, if their ballot will actually be uh, having an, uh, having an uh, 
a decision in how the county is going to be governed, in how the Orange Party is going to uh, look like, how the structure will be like here in Kakamega County. Kakamega County, of course, being one of the key epicenters of ODM, a stronghold, as it were, of ODM here in, uh, uh, in this western uh, region. That is after, of course, Busia and then Kakamega, parts of uh, Bungoma <coughs> and uh, the rest of Nyanza, Nyanza region. So we'll be keeping an eye, of course, now uh, this time round just to see who will be having an upper hand or who will be carrying uh, the ODM flag uh, going into the, uh, into the August 8th uh, general election. As we speak, uh, rightly so, uh, what is happening is now we are counting the votes of the Senate race for ODM uh, party flag bearer. Then after that, we are going into uh, the women's representative from there, uh, going into the members of parliament, and then we'll, uh, final will be the MCA. So really, maybe give it like uh, two or so hours uh, when we'll have a final say on how the structure here in Kakamega County will be looking like. Uh, but uh, for now, we just await for provisional results. Maybe uh, for the Senate race to begin with as we wait for others to be counted and tallied. So back to you at the Communication Center, Lillian. Thanks for that, Samugina. Samugina uh, joining us from Kakamega. And uh, moving on, 